So next we are going to look at step 3 of the biomimicry process. Step 3 of the biomimicry design spiral. Now though we are saying step 1, step 2, step 3, remember that these are not just linear sequential steps. You will be iterating through them if required, which means that you will be going back and forth between the steps as and when required. So coming back to step three, in step one, you defined the problem statement. You created the design question, which is how might we? Then in step two, you look at biologizing the question which means you ask the question, how does nature do what I want to accomplish? The next step is the discover, where you look at what organisms perform the same function that I am trying to address. You biologized the question in step two. You came up with a how does nature question with a function. Now you look for which are the organisms that perform that function and that's what we are going to do in the discover step. Let's see how we do that. A couple of, couple of things to remember as you start this step biology um, discover. You are going to be looking at organisms and living systems that, that are doing the same function of course and you're going to look at the associated strategies that they use for performing that function, what is called the biological strategies. You've heard this term before. So you're going to look for organisms and the associated biological strategies as you go through the discover step. Let's pick up the same example that we used in Biologize. You will remember this example of how might we make urban cyclists more visible to drivers at night that was the defined question. You biologize the function and context. Let me just get the laser pointer here. So this is the defined question. You biologize the function and context and you came up with a how does nature question, which said how does nature enhance visibility in low light environments and how does nature sense movement in the dark. Now, if you recall at that point in time, we had said that you should frame more than one biologized question to help you in your next step. And now that we are at the next step, let's see how that helps us. So now you have a biologized question in front of you. How does nature enhance visibility in low light environments? And how does nature sense movement in the dark? You're going to discover organisms that perform the same function that you want to look for. What is the function? Organisms that enhance visibility in low light environments and organisms that sense movement in the dark. So how do you actually go about looking for such organisms? Any, any, any guesses? What, how, do you, how would you go about looking for organisms that sense movement in the dark? How do you discover these organisms how do you discover their biological strategies? Of course, you could research animals that are nocturnal or blind. You can start looking for animals that uh, have these characteristics. You could research, again, you know, when we say organisms, we always think only of animals. Don't forget that plants are also organisms. Also, there are living systems, which means an entire system of living beings that can also be considered in order to look for functions. So plants that sense movement, you could look for plants that sense movement. You could look for organisms that live in the deep sea or the underground or in dark caves. You could ask someone who is an expert, a naturalist or a biologist to find out organisms that sense movement in the dark. You could also, of course, explore library resources, look in a natural history museum, Look, at, look for it yourself. Remember, this is biomimicry. Going out in nature is something that you will be expected to do. You could actually go out in nature and start looking for organisms and, of course, search online as well. So you can do all of these 
in order to discover organisms that perform the same function that you were looking in your biologized question. And you could definitely go through each of these in order to do that. However, for the purposes of this course, we are suggesting that you use Ask Nature. You are of course welcome to try other ways as well, but Ask Nature is the most direct way of looking for organisms and looking for associated strategies. Last time, uh, or rather in the last uh, video, I uh, introduced to you how to use Ask Nature to look for a function and an associated strategy. So you could employ that in order to look for an organism. That's the di most direct way, right? You can also use the, uh, the biomimicry toolbox, which has a, a pretty extensive uh, references section. So you can look at those sources in order to look for organisms as well. Asking an ex expert is, of course, an option. You can, uh, there is an online service available from the Arizona State University where you can email a question to your biologist and they try to answer those questions as much as they can. So that's something you can do as well. Remember, you're trying to look for organisms that perform a certain function and what is the associated strategy they use to perform that function. And you could use these ways to arrive at those organisms. A couple of tips to help you do this step of discover, discovering organisms. One is to explore multiple organisms and living systems that are doing the same function. This also gives you multiple biological strategies for those functions that you can look at for your solution in the next step, that is. Again, this is something that you would have noticed as a tip even in the previous two steps, define and biologize. In define, we told you don't just frame one question and say, okay, this is my problem statement. Don't just frame three questions and say one is broad, one is narrow, one is just right and move forward with it. That's not how it works. Frame multiple defined questions, classify them as broad, narrow and just right. Pick up your just right questions, find out which you want to proceed with. Similarly, in biologize, look for multiple functions that are related to the defined question and explore each of them as you do the define, uh, as you do the biologize step. Similarly, in discover, don't just restrict yourself to one organism that performs a function. Look for multiple organisms and you have, you have the resources available. You know, we just spoke about what all you could do to discover organisms. For the purpose of this course, you can look at Ask Nature. Again, Ask Nature has almost 1,700 plus organisms. So you don't have a dearth of choices there. So don't just restrict yourself to one organism or two organisms. The other one is don't restrict yourself to only organisms that you know. Because we have students who, who think of, they, say they think that they already know the organism. Enhancing visibility in the dark, you look only for bioluminescent luminescent organisms. So I look at fireflies because fireflies enhance visibility in the dark. Don't do that. Go with the process. Don't, don't just stick to what you know and what you think you know. Go with the process. Trust the resources available to you in order to proceed. And use the taxonomy fully. You have 160 specific functions that you can use to frame your biologized questions and to look for associated organisms and strategies. Use that effectively. Look for functions under multiple subgroups. Look for functions that are, are, are synonyms. Look for functions that are opposite. Just gives you a fresh perspective of the way in which you're looking at your problem. And once you've done that, do tabulate your entire findings. Now, this is something that's important because it's easy to get caught up in the research and look at multiple organisms and multiple functions and multiple strategies, but do tabulate them and say, okay, here's the organism I discovered. This is the function. This is the strategy. So do that in a systematic way because this will help you in your next stage. And when you look at the biological strategy, don't just copy it from the source that you looked at it from. Read it and explain it in your own words. Explain it in your own words and even draw a rough sketch of the strategy if you can. 
because this will help you understand the strategy better and it will only help you as you go to the next step of abstracting the strategy and actually using it to create a new solution. Now that we've looked at how discover is done, I'm going to show you a way of doing that using the uh, Ask Nature website. So let me do that, pick up one example and do that. So given the biologized question of how does nature sense movement in the dark? Let's take that as an example to see how you can discover organisms using Ask Nature. So you go to the biological strategies section right here and go to search strategies because you have a very specific function that you want to look for. You're not just simply exploring. So you could just, you know, search here by typing your query. You could say sense movement or dark, etc. So you could use some keyword to actually do that. I'm not going to do that because I'm I have a specific function that I'm looking at. So therefore, I'm going to say, OK, how does nature sense movement in the dark? What function group do I look for? Sensing movement is processing information. So I can process information. Again, if you don't know this, it's fine. You can use the search box here in order to do that. So processing information and I look at uh, sensing movement. So sensing signals, let's say. And in sensing signals, you have multiple ways of sensing and there is sensing motion, which is sensing movement. So 14 organisms are curated here for sensing movement. You could look at each one of them and try and look at. So you have the water strider, you have spiders, you have red harvester ants. Look at each one of them. You can you can open them, open up each of these pages, look at the strategy look at the function and how they perform it using a strategy, find out more about that specific function, tabulate it in your findings. So you have multiple organisms to work with here for sensing movement. You could also look, pick up the dark part, right, in the night. So sensing light, sensing light in the visible spectrum or the non-visible spectrum, you can even look at organisms that do that in this, in this context. Try and see if that expands your range of organisms and strategies that you can look for. So that's what you do as part of the discover organisms step. You're looking at discovering as many organisms as you can that perform the function. Don't res be restricted to just one function in one organism. Look for multiple functions, multiple organisms using the tips that I gave you earlier. Now that we've looked at how to discover organisms using Ask Nature, I'm going to ask you to do it on your own because there's no better way to learn than practicing on your own. So I'll give you a, a biologized question. How does nature protect from impact? Take up this question, Identify the biological strategies, identify the organisms that perform this function, identify the biological strategies that they use to perform this function. For this, you can use Ask Nature. I mean, you don't have to use all the other uh, ways in which to look for it, like researching on your own, etc. You can just stick to Ask Nature for this. Tabulate your findings systematically, as explained here, you know, the name of the organism, what is the function and explain the biological strategy in your own words. Don't just copy paste it from Ask Nature. Write it in your own words. Draw a simple diagram if you like to explain that strategy in your own words. And don't stop with just one organism or one strategy. Explore several organisms and strategies. So this is the exercise that you can use. Don't forget to record it in your diary because this will also help you see how you're progressing in your application of the biomimicry spiral.